Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all. In this video, I'm going to speak about the 4D LB analysis using the Tomtek software. The Tomtek software is one of the softwares that are being used currently for advanced echo analysis. Here I'm in this video, I'm going to speak about this particular tool and God willing, in next videos, I will be addressing other tools. This video will be focusing on how to use the 4D LV analysis tool in the Tomtek software in order to analyze the left ventricle, of course, 3D volume for the LV in order to give you the volumes, the ejection fraction, the strain, radial, circumferential, longitudinal, and even the torsion and the rotation because it is based on 3D spectral tracking analysis. Let's go on. This is the interface of the Tomtek software after you open the icon from your desktop or laptop or whatever. And the list of the patients will be listed here. And then I choose my particular patient in order to analyze this 3D patient will be displayed here once it is displayed here if I put the mouse over it even without clicking it will display uh, the volume it will display what is inside then right click on that it will give you the options or the tools by which you can work uh, on this particular volume we have here the 4D RV function the 4D LV analysis the 4D cardio view the 4D mitral valve analysis. In this video, as I said, I will use the 4D LV analysis. One click, left click. As I said before, this software is really very smart. Once you open the 4D analysis tool and it knows that you should be opening a volume that has the left ventricle in it, spontaneously divide this particular volume into four small screens. That one is a three chamber view and it is really three chamber with mitral valve point pointed down and apex is pointing towards the apex you just need it to point to it is not necessary to be at particular point but it is preferred to be at the endocardial surface and this is in the middle of the mitral valve annulus and here is a short axis at the level of the left ventricle with this point pointing towards the aortic valve AV here is also the two chamber view and it did the same, mitral valve is down, apex is up, and here's a four chamber view, mitral valve is down, and apex is up. Actually, you don't need to edit anything if everything is okay, but you have the luxury to edit if you want to. So if I need to point to the apex, to that side, for example, it's okay. If you need to change this point of aortic valve, if you cannot see the three chamber view here, you can, you can do this. Otherwise, if everything is okay, don't do anything, and that can help too much in the reproducibility of uh, the results. If you are satisfied, you can just click view to the revision, one click, left click. Once you open it, some tracking will happen like that, and then it will give you a standstill in the stolic frame, at in the stolic, and here's the dynamic sinus, and here's the volume or the end diastolic volume cast as you notice here if you need to remove this black and white you just click here it will give you the cast without any black and white click it again it will give you the black and white volume again plus the cast and here is also the short axis in end diastole and there is a dynamic image here you can edit anything you want if the tracking is okay, well and good, don't edit. Otherwise, I can edit anything I want very easily. If, for example, here I cannot see the apex tracked very well, I can come here. Once you come with the arrow or with the mouse nearby the line, it will be highlighted. The highlighted part is editable now. So once it is highlighted, I can click and hold and then pull it there or put it down. If you notice, the image on that side here is changing instantaneously. So once I pull that up, it changes here. In other softwares, in order to change or to edit anything, you have to start over again, start from the very beginning. But in this very smart software, actually I like it too much, you can edit even after the finalization of the results and everything will be replicated again. And so it's very uh, user friendly in my point of view. So you can edit that also, you can edit here if you need to edit. Otherwise, as I said, you don't need. Here's the short axis. You can edit even in the short axis. If you need another level of the short axis, you can just 
pull this down or push it up it will give you the short axis at a different level here and then you can edit if you are happy with that you can click on tracking revision now it is tracking throughout the cardiac cycle now you have different types of display if this is highlighted so you will have an end systolic frame fixed frame with a dynamic image and here is the cost in motion if you click here diastole it will give you the end diastolic frame freeze and here is the dynamic sinus and here is the cost and here also end diastole here and here is the dynamic image if you click here dns it will give you the diastole the systole the dynamic the volume and the results as well if you need to calculate the mass for example you click here calculate the mass it will give you another layer in order to put it outside the wall you can also edit here but you need a full contour my volume was not including the full contour of uh, the LV that's why it might not be the good one for that but if you need to get it you have to get the whole contour of the LV now I'm ready to calculate and I can edit also the diastolic contour here if you need to edit go for the systole also if you need to edit the end systole for example here if I'm happy with that I can click analysis now it calculated everything this is the volume and as I said if you don't need to see the black and white this is the cost alone you can click this to see each segment alone with a different color and here is the curves volumetric curves for each particular segment these are the global results these are driven from the 3d speckle tracking these are the volumetric measurements in the systolic volume in systolic volume stroke volume addition fraction the mass here because I calculated the mass the synchrony index which was 5% global longitudinal strain which was minus 18 circumferential the twist and torsion as well and these are very good results still not so validated at the time of this video but if we will trust a twist and torsion should be driven from a 3d analysis not a 2d analysis like what we are doing at the moment just to track the apex in short axis and the base and short axis all of us know the variability that can happen in these measurements but if we calculate this from a 3d volume analysis that will be more reproducible and more realistic these are the 3d strain results this is the 3d strain this is the 3d strain pulse eye view and here's the circumferential strain alone the results and here's the radial strain for sure it will be positive as it is thickening longitudinal strain again negative and these are the results and here's time to peak the peak so this is how you can do it what if you need to edit again you can go for brutal revision and you can edit again at any point as I said before and then the results will be recalculated again and this is a very good thing about this tool that it is very easy to use you don't need to start over start from the very beginning at each time you need to edit anything I hope that was useful. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.